You cannot be saying amazing grace, how sweet the sound. And then we are seeing breasts, thighs and tight trousers showing you a strongholds for every woman to salivate. Andrew Kibe is a personal friend of mine. Uh, I've known Kibe for over 25 years. Today on the show is Fix. Daddy Owen is a personal friend of mine. Uh, to metoka na mbali. And I had the privilege of being uh, in the committee of planning this thing. It's been uh, long days and long nights uh, planning this. But when I come here and uh, I see what has happened here, it's uh, really a joy to behold. Because when you say behind the scenes, then when on the particular day like as today, you see the fruition of the hard work we did. And um, together with the, other, the rest of the team, Nosemanya uh, Sante, and of course, I had um, the privilege of being the host, uh, assisted by two MCs, uh, MC Lawton and MC Abel. Not say much, Mungu Shukrani Sana Sana, because it was a successful event, as I'm sure you all agree with me. Yes, mm -hmm. we can agree with you. As, as we can see everything went well. So maybe Nikitaka Kujua, you being part of the committee, what was the most, Amuno Zasema, the lowest moment we experienced to make this uh, event happen successful? To be honest, um, we've worked with uh, joyful hearts and gladness in our spirit uh, because we are a close-knit team. Now, you know, towards today, like yesterday, the oppression of Shika, you um, Like, uh, we couldn't set up early yesterday because there was a function here until late at night. So the pressure, you know, but uh, organizing the function, because we are close friends, you know, and uh, we let God lead us. And to us, I'm not sure, Mungu, because Babu, I couldn't allow moment as well. Like in the pressure, I can't wait the event. Siku na pokaribia, of course, na juliza masoli mengi. Will everything go the way we planned? And uh, we thank God that everything went as per plan. Yeah. As a, as a spiritual person, when you talk about Nisa Sana, what is uh, what is your comment on uh, gospel industry aside? What I would say there is, um, I think, the moment we call it an industry is where we have a problem, and I've heard somebody say that before. Uh, it should be a ministry. People, if you're going to do gospel music, then it has to be the gospel. So I would urge most of the gospel musicians to stop being musicians and become gospel ministers. Before you minister unto people, let the Lord minister to you. And even the kind of music you bring forth, let it be spiritual. I mean, I've heard some songs, to be honest with you, and uh, maybe Jesus is mentioned at the end, or not at all, and you call it gospel. So I would urge our gospel musicians to turn into gospel ministers by using their music to minister to the people of God. And for you to minister to somebody, you have to go into the secret place and get ministered to. It's like a preacher. You just can't wake up one morning and preach the word. If you want to preach with power, if you want the anointing to flow and the unction to come upon you, you really have to go into the secret place, be ministered to by the Lord, and then you have the power to go and minister unto the people of God. Yes. Is it wrong for a gospel musician to, to work with a secular musician because we've seen for example masterpiece has done a song with the uh, butros we've, we've we've seen a, a number of uh, artists gospel artists doing uh, music with the uh, secular musicians is it wrong what i would say and i want to answer that very carefully because i know it can be misquoted by some people everything that you give out in uh, music should minister to the people of god and if whatever music they're producing ministers unto the spirit of uh, and, and to the people of God, then you're okay because we also need gospel ministers. And by the way, we don't have very many gospel ministers. We have very many gospel artists, but very few gospel ministers. Is what is your walk with God? Are you convicted? Is it spirit led? If something is led by the flesh cannot be of God. So people have a personal walk with God and I'm not here to judge but anything that does not glorify God yet it's supposed to then there's a problem. So I, I have not heard by the way the song you're asking. You said I know Masterpiece. masterpiece the other guy is? Called Butros. Kenyan. Yes. He's a artist. Butros. Yes. Is it um, does it amplify the flesh? 
and give me a few lines of that of that song mm -hmm. uh, because i would want to answer in knowledge if something does not glorify god then you are lying to ourselves yes. uh, you've mentioned gospel minister maybe i would like to get an opportunity to ask you you can list to us some of the gospel minister we have or else i can propose to you few names then you can tell me if the person is a gospel minister or gospel, <laughs> gospel artist. Don't, Let me give you five. Give Let me give you five. Let me give you okay, five. Okay. One, Bahati. Is Bahati a gospel minister or a gospel artist? It depends on his work with God, personal. I would rather give some names who can set. I mean, I, I'm not here to judge somebody's work with Christ. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's a personal work. But I want to mention a few names that minister unto me. Sarah Kay is a gospel minister. I've listened to Daddy Owen, and you've seen what has happened here today. The album was commissioned. Oil was poured by a servant of God. All right? If the Bible says, in the beginning, God, meaning every beginning, whatever you do, if you don't start with God, you're wasting your time. And I want to speak, if you allow me, to the gospel musicians, gospel artists. Don't try and be like the ones in the world to be accepted. You would rather be rejected by men but approved in heaven. God is not short of music. God is not short of ideas. But if you find yourself diluting the God in you to fit into... The, to, uh, with the people of the world then you need to go back and ask God to refill you once again you cannot compromise God and I ask all of you because to be honest I have seen some people in the gospel industry doing things that and saying this is a gospel song I'll say this and, and, and allow me to say this because I'm not here to win an award I'm here to say what the word of God says honestly you cannot give us a gospel song that is supposed to edify the spirit man but you are actually in a roundabout way amplifying the flesh what am i saying you cannot be saying amazing grace how sweet the sound and then we are seeing breasts thighs and tight trousers showing you strongholds for every woman to salivate i mean let's let's be serious guys we have to know that it is about God. It's either we are fully with God or we are not with God at all. But if you are fully in, you should immerse yourself and let people see, even as you minister. There's a song that you and I sang from his new album. You could sense the spirit of God. And let me say this. People may not know this. One time I was in a prayer center in Cataloni for a few days. And every day I met that you and he would drive in the morning, live in the evening. For three days I saw that man there gospel musicians you don't have to go to the clubs and don't call it you are reaching out don't call it you're reaching out you cannot go to the clubs you cannot go and be talking with people and say you're ministering unto the people of god let the word of god be supreme let us all be guided but i'm not saying we are we are striving for perfection we are all, even me as a preacher the truth of the matter, every day we are working on ourselves. There is nobody perfect. But there has to be setting your eye to the cross, looking unto Jesus, the beginner and the finisher of our faith, the author of our faith, the great I am, the Alpha and Omega. But I'll say this, and I know many people may not like what I'm about to say. Before you minister to the people of God, you must be ministered to in the secret place by God. Don't lie to people as you minister to them, but in the secret place, you're not being ministered to. It's alcohol, alcohol, drugs, and drugs. You got to, if that's what you're struggling with, sit down fast, let the Lord heal you, and then come and minister to the people of God. <laughs> All right, so, um, Kumalizia, Kenyans have crucified you so many times probably online they have misjudged you they have judged you only god can judge us how do you manage to come back stronger and stronger every single day i'll be honest sir without god i think i would have collapsed under the weight of pressure it is only god that keeps me going 
and let me tell you something. By the special grace of God, every day I am dying to self. I am reducing and I want God to be seen in me. I don't defend myself against blogs. Even the corona season, I never open my mouth to defend myself. It's only God who knows the truth. And God knew where I was and I experienced the healing power of God. So when um, people troll me on social media and I still come back, it's nothing to do with me. Everything to do with God. Because I know some people have committed suicide because of being trolled. Some have gone into depression because of being trolled. But for me, it is purely, purely by the grace of God. If I give myself any credit, I'll be doing wrong. It is purely, and I want this to come out clear, sir. It is purely by the grace of God. There's a scripture that I hold. Had it not been for God, where would I be? If God be for me, who shall be against me? For me, guys, it is just about God. He's the reason I still stand while others have gone into depression. And I live for him. I sleep, wake up God. Even in my imperfections, I still look unto God. And I say, hold my hand. You who began a good work is faithful to complete it. And to the people who abuse others on social media, I want you to know, even you are not perfect. Everybody is going through some stuff. There are people out there who are one abuse away from committing suicide. Be sympathetic to people out there. There's a whole ecosystem. Somebody, somebody's wife, husband, father, brother, sister, uncle, auntie. Because the moment you put yourself to judge somebody, you have put yourself in the line for the same judgment and it will come back to your head. Let's love one another. Nobody's perfect. We are all growing and uh, trying to be better tomorrow. Alafu uh, uh, Burale, you are a fashionista. You dress nicely. Thank you. Uh, you you post very nice photos on on your social media. Alafu uh, uh, in Kenya, uh, there is a trend. Uh, our girls uh, wanapenda wanawaita wa baba. Do you get DMs and do you reply to your DMs? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, by the grace of God, I am a counselor, and the people who look up to me as a mentor. Um, I do sometimes take, talk, take long before I reply because I got many messages. Um, I saw a meme that uh, parents telling their daughters, Watch an end now, Baba. I love pictures to the Baba. How are you? No, for me, I'm just a man who wants to serve God, and um, when the day comes and God blesses me with a wife i will get married uh, i'm divorced but of course i'll get married after some time and god will bless me i know that for sure um do we get dms we get dms from many people people looking for help counseling advice the good the bad or the ugly but we just roll with the punches yes yes uh, you, you, you are a personal friend of Andrew Kibe. Uh, I don't know whether you're still friends right now. Uh, we, we, knew, you know, we, uh, we know you have a history together of serving together in the ministry. Andrew Kibe is turning out to be quite different from what the, way, the route you're taking. Has he reached out to you or have you reached out to him to try and find out what is going on with him or if he can get back to the ministry and to the ways of the... Uh, spirit and cross other than being ways of the flesh and luxury and party what do you think about that Andrew Kibe is a personal friend of mine uh, I've known Kibe for over 25 years uh, I know his family we are friends I mean um, life takes people in different directions but um, I cannot stand here and uh, and disown friends He's my friend, and uh, God is still at work in all of us. He's at work in, in my life. He's at work in Kiba's life. He's at work in everybody's life. He is my good friend for over 25 years, and uh, it remains so. I mean, his family, he knows my family. I know his family. And uh, in this journey of life, people are different, but we still honor and respect each other. Okay. So, so, thank you so much, Burali, for thank your you time. So Asante, San. Asante, Asante, Asante. Asante.